Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to do a preview of Thursday Night Football tonight between the Panthers and the Steelers. This game looks to be one of the best games so far on Thursday night. Everything's set. Cam Newton versus Ben Roethlisberger. Panthers defense versus Antonio Brown and the Steelers offense. I'm excited for tonight. Now you can argue as much as you want who's going to win. And there are a couple of reasons of who, which team could win. For the Panthers, I got to go. Cam Newton is a, has an athletic ability. It's just, it's hard to stop, especially the way he runs, his quickness. He's also dangerous as a passer. He's having was one of his one of his best seasons, even better than the 2015 season where he won the MVP. And the Panthers' defense is legitimate. Thomas Davis, Luke Keekley, who anchored the defense, are the two of the best linebacking core core players in the NFL. The secondary is okay. Eric Reed's been playing a little better and has been a pretty good acu ac pretty good pickup for the Panthers midseason. And I think he's gonna get better for the for the Steelers. Of course Big Ben. He's an amazing passer. He also can run very similar to Cam Newton because he can run. He's agile and fast. Not really fast, but Tony Brown's very fast. So is Juju Smith-Schuster. And James Washington is slowly getting there. He's playing decent. The tight ends are pretty good in both Met teams. Greg Olson's very good. Vance McDonald has been playing much better this year than last year. Steelers' defense is okay. One of their best, best set player in the secondary, Mike Hilton. Everyone else is decent. Cameron Hayward's still the legitimate pass rusher. And TJ Watt has playing pretty, pretty good since last year as a rookie. So you got to consider that as those are the reasons each team could win. And for week nine in the NFL, well, <clears throat> it was an interesting week. The Bears destroy the Bills 41-9. to Bears literally, Bills had no offense. They finally scored a touchdown, which is finally good because, you know, I would have been mad if they did, didn't. The Titans beat the Cowboys 28-14 on Monday night. Of course, the Cowboys being mediocre. Actually, that's not even what they are anymore. They're just trash. They can't play. And Mark Cooper got his first touchdown as a member of the Cowboys on Monday. Good job for him, but bad job for the Cow. But a horrible job for the Cowboys. Now, knew the Titans would win, and they did take the victory. And then the Patriots beat the Packers 31-17. Brady versus Rodgers. And clearly, Brady's the better one, and he's clearly the GOAT. I mean, that's still debatable. Leave your comments in the comments section below of who is the GOAT between Rodgers or Brady or anyone else. So, And the Falcons beat the Redskins 34-7. to seven. I don't remember what the score was. 38-14, I think. <clears throat> Falcons offense is, was playing very good. And Julio Jones finally snapped a streak of not catching a touchdown. He got a 35-yard touchdown. Tevin Coleman had two receiving touchdowns, one of 39 and one of 10. He was very effective, and Atlanta's won now four in a row after starting one and three. They have looked really good. Sorry, one and four. They are looking much better. I think they have a legitimate chance at making the playoffs. And you got Minnesota. I don't remember who they played, but... Minnesota, oh yeah, they played the Lions, and they win 24-9. Guess how many times Matthew Stafford was sacked? Ten times. Unbelievable. Lions are clearly falling apart, and there's no chance that they make the playoffs. If they can somehow sneak in, that would be the craziest sneak in for the playoffs ever because their offense is falling apart. Matthew Stafford's still a very good quarterback. The defense needs help, and Matt Patricia has the head coach not giving them that. <coughs> and Jacksonville and Indianapolis had to buy. Good job because two teams are struggling, are going to be playing next week, so they'll need to get back on track. And, of course, the Raiders, being as bad as they are, they lose because they can't play. They lose the 49ers. I'm trying to think of the other games because, you know, it's been a week. So, let's see, the Giants. The Giants had a bye week, but to me, they still lost. So, just grabbing something real quick. Need to check the scores. I kind of forget, though, so... Bear with me just a second. So I think the, let's see. I think the Cardinals had a bye, if I'm right. 
Cardinals. Yeah, they did. Um... Okay, here we go. Okay, forgot. How did I forget most of these games? It's been a week. It's been a long week for me. Saints beat the Rams 45-35. The Rams are no longer undefeated. Saints did a very good job. And I knew that Ram, the Rams, Saints are probably going to win this. But I picked the Rams because why not? I thought they had a chance to keep it close. But the Saints just outright beat them. Rams defense looked pretty bad. <coughs> And Joe and Michael Thomas had the funniest celebrate touchdown celebration when he scored a long pass from Drew Brees. And then he runs out, he pulls off the thing off the goal, the goal post, and pulls out a cell phone exactly what Joe Horn did like in 2004 or something. But that was so funny. I was I didn't even believe what I saw. I was like, I just laughed so hard. I mean, would I who would expect who expected that to happen? <laughs> Man, stuff is too much stuff. Too many crazy stuffs happening in the NFL this year, especially that. <laughs> oh my God! Left for like a couple minutes, couple minutes straight after that. And other game. Come on. If it would only load. And of course the Redskins, well, they lost. But five and three, every five and two, everyone knew they were gonna fall apart because they're the Redskins. They're usually a mediocre team. So that's what you get from the Washington Redskins. Oh, Carolina beats the Buccaneers 42-28. Cam Newton had a very good game. Cam Bay tried to come back late, but that failed. Even though Ryan Fitzpatrick did play pretty good. I think he what through three touchdowns? Somewhere around that number. The Steelers beat the Ravens 23-16 on the road. Ravens look like they're going to be out of the playoffs. I don't think they even make the playoffs like last year. They're doing much, They're doing really bad. Last year, they weren't that great. They went, what, 9-7? and seven, They missed the playoffs? They were not really good a team. This year, their defense, first half of the season, kept things together, and now it's just falling apart. Steelers are regaining focus, and they have a legitimate shot with the Bengals to fight for the division title. The Texans beat the Broncos 19-17. Demaryius Thomas against his former team. I don't remember stats, but Houston wins late. Denver had a chance to win it, but they blow a field goal. The Dolphins beat the Jets 13-6. Sam Darnold threw four picks. He'll be out against the Bills in Week 10. So, <laughs> And the Chiefs beat the Browns 37-21. So they're 8 and 1, clearly one of the best teams in the NFL with the Saints and the Rams along with Patriots. They can't be stopped. I can't wait for the week 11 matchup between the Chiefs and Saints. My Chiefs and Rams in London. That is going to be the best game of the year. Better than the Saints and the Rams. Browns kept it close, but sort of they kind of played decent. So, give them credit. Chargers established itself as a really as a contender to overthrow the Chiefs in the AFC West. As they clear, as they beat the Seahawks 25-17, Philip Rizzo had a good game, and Russell Wilson, the Seahawks are struggling. For most teams, I mean, the Rams. My overview is the Rams. Defense was very bad; they couldn't do anything. The Bucks are struggling; they're most likely out of the playoffs. The Bills have no shot. The Raiders have no shot. Jaguars, Giants, Colts, most likely not going to get in it. Tennessee has a good shot. They are a wild card. You know, they went 9-7 the last two seasons, but they have a good shot at making the playoffs. In my opinion, the Ravens are going to fall apart. I just don't see them trying to keep up with anybody. They, they're what, 4 and 5 I think, and it's not getting better for them. The Lions are going to fall apart, Jags, Colts, Redskins. But, the, you know, the Redskins could still keep keep it up with the Eagles in the division. They still lead the division, but the Redskins lose next week to the... Who are they playing? 
They are playing the They're on the road to Tampa Bay. Yeah, they have a good shot at winning it, but I think Fitzpatrick's probably going to win that game because also a rematch of the Kirk Cousins. You like that. <laughs> Except he won't be there. Well, Because he, he'll be against... Oh, he has a bye. So he'll get to watch that game. And, once, and if the Redskins win, he'll say, you like that. That's going to wrap up our Week 9 review... NFL review and my week 10 Panthers versus the Steelers game preview. Tune in for tomorrow or Saturday or even Sunday. You know, sometimes I don't have time to upload a video, but definitely to stay tuned Sunday for my video for week 10 for Sunday games. See ya.